Hello, this is Starshot, here to welcome you back to my Let's Play of Castle in the Darkness. Uh, we last left off uh, running through the rest of Alexandria to find and uh, pick up a fireball, our very first magic spell, and finally take down and defeat a giant knight. Like, we don't see enough of those sometimes in other games, huh? But, we're here now in the Argos Forest, and we'll see kind of how we go as we continue on. It's kind of funny, like, you start off playing this game, you know, you're kind of given a quest or something where apparently you're the only knight left to protect the Alexandria, the kingdom and the king, against uh, these armies of monsters, and you're kind of all, all on your own. But you don't really know exactly what you're supposed to do. But I guess as far as I recall, I think you're supposed to just defeat the leader of these all these monsters, and hopefully we can... Uh, take care of that. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, uh, wolf. Okay. And he's actually quite powerful. But he's got plenty of gold for us. So let me go ahead and just do a quick save here. So he's not too bad. I just have to watch for him. And of course we have these vines who will uh, come after you and Darn it. Uh, killed by a bird. Just kind of, uh, just one of the worst feelings you can have when you go ahead and take on a giant knight and a uh, werewolf thing here, and then get killed by one bird just because you get stick stuck in a pit. But at least we're getting plenty of gold from this guy. He's got plenty of money on him for being a guy with only pants. I think he has pants. I hope so. But let's take care of this bird so he doesn't cause us any trouble this time. And then we got a cave, I believe. Ah, darn it. Apparently that thing drops bones when it dies, not just throws them. Yeah, since he kind of just stays there. And sure, I did lose some gold there, but I'm not going to worry about it. There's plenty of gold to find later on. It's not like we we won't find more if we need to. And then... Ah, darn it. The only problem is this bird who kind of keeps coming after you. I might be better off just kind of running from it for now. Let me go ahead and heal up quick here. Sorry for the flashing, though. It's uh, just part of the game. I try to tell you something's going on. Uh, let me just continue on here. Oh yeah, if you're just quick enough, we can probably just avoid the bird anyway. Ah, oh, here we go. So we can at least save there as a way of measuring our progress a little bit. And I was hoping to see about that cave over here. Just to see if uh, I can go into it or not, or if there's a way to it. But it doesn't look like the game wants to give me that chance, so let's just move on for now. At least it looks like a cave. Now let me go ahead and just heal here, because it looks like the zombies are getting harder now by dropping maggots. Of course, I guess in real life I sort of find it weird how some of these creatures can seem to do so much damage to you compared to their real life counterparts. Yeah, watch out for the fairies. They're not very kind. And sadly, neither are the hedgehogs. Okay. Took a hit there, but I'm... not fine, sadly. So yeah, sadly, this is definitely a game where you're gonna die for one reason or another, because of the whole lack of health. You can take quite a few hits, and there's no invincibility frames, which I guess is the biggest thing you, you might notice. Like in a lot of other games, you usually are given a few seconds after a hit to kind of do something. Whereas in this one, uh, you don't really have the time. And sometimes it's just better to move on than to fight something anyway. But 
Which is actually a pretty good life lesson anyway. You know, you don't have to take all the battles on uh, that you deal with. Sometimes it's better just to uh, run away. To fight another day is the idea. I really would like it if I could find another weapon. Oh, here we go. Another save point, thankfully. But yeah, I feel like I need a new sword or something just to be able to do more damage. Actually, I guess I'll go this way first since this is where the save point was. Let's see where this leads. And we found another boss, or I guess she's more like a mini boss, I guess. Apparently, I can't dodge the feather there. Okay, so. Okay, so. The best. Pretty much, you have to draw her down, and then you have to get a few hits in, and then hopefully uh, avoid her after she uh, falls down here. So, not too bad, actually. And then you can, during the meantime, you can save up and just do some fireballs. I almost got her. There we go. So not too bad there. That's the only problem with the heart up here, is if you pick it up, then you tend to lose all the other money, which you kind of want to keep going at least with. Now let's go ahead and check out this cave here. And it just leads over to this red skeleton here. And some more mushrooms. It's good to see game designers still making use of mushrooms in some form. Either as enemies or as, uh... Oh, the House of Ruth. This is actually an optional area, I believe. We can probably check out later, but it's good to at least pick up the um, save point here. So, you have a spot where you can heal up and go from from there without having going all the way back like we would have there if uh, I hadn't come in to save. But yeah, I sort of remember visiting this place later, because there are some stuff you'll need to pick up, but you don't have to do it right away, if I recall. Oh, cool, it's the princess. Oh, it's Sophia, actually, not the princess. I think the princess is somewhere else. But hey, at least we saved her, and now she can go home. So I, I think I'll get something from the guy who was waiting for his daughter once I get back there. I wanted to jump there, but oh well. Okay, got in here. Okay, I'm not quite sure where I am now. You know, I'm just hoping to find a save point at this point. Ah, darn it. Okay, let's try this again, maybe going the other way this time. Oh, we get to save Sophia again. So, that's not too bad at least. Darn it. I was hoping not to get hit by that, but oh well. And as you can see, we're kinda we can breeze through this game a lot quicker here by uh in certain parts. But uh hmm. I guess maybe I came from that direction, so if I want to continue on I should probably go this way. be better to jump from down here though. And maybe to use my fireball here. There we go. So yeah, you don't really need to use the fireball as often. Like it helps. But usually I just kind of use it only when I need to. Oh and cool, I got my save point finally, so of course now I seem to be using it more often. 
Oh, there's that weird frog guy. Darn it. Hmm. Okay, so he definitely hits a lot more than I'm used to here from my enemies. Oh, apparently he can guard from magic. Okay, so I have to use the, uh, you know, these parts, the ledges here, to kind of avoid him when I can. And it seemed like the fireballs didn't really do much to him. I shouldn't have taken all that damage there. Yeah, it looks like for the most part I just have to avoid- I have to pretty much hit him in the back and avoid his front here, because his sword swings are a bit more than what I can handle. It's kind of annoying that he somehow has guards against magic, though. Kind of when he does that is pretty much the best time to get him. So yeah, there's no point in charging up really. Uh, in this case, just because of the whole fireballs. Or the guard against fireballs for whatever reason. So he's not too bad once you figure him out. Especially when he kind of gives you the chance there. But yeah, he, he we'll see him again later. But I should probably go ahead and save, actually. Just in case. Oh, well, whatever. We're still fine here. I guess I probably need to use the fireball a bit more here. Like, it seems like there are some enemies that guard against it, and others that are probably not too bad to use it against, because just because it helps. Of course, it doesn't help when they uh, re unleash enemies for, or, what you know, damage us when we kill them. Yeah, I guess when I think back to when I first played this game, I can't recall how often I actually used the fireball, other than when I needed to. Uh, apparently that's locked, but oh well. We found another cabin here, though. And apparently I can rest here, it says. Which is just the save point right here. Which is nice, at least, so... And, of course, the bane of my existence, that stupid bird. Okay, let me go ahead and save, because that gunner is causing me troubles. And so is that bird. I'd rather just run from the stupid bird, just because I can't seem to kill it and it's too fast. And actually, I guess that's the other thing with this game, is that other than you don't have in, you don't have invincibility frames, and you also uh, none of the enemies get stunned. Ah, come on! I was hoping to save him, but oh well. Ah, darn it! Well, new enemy, so. Definitely, we'll have to figure out how to s fight him this game. And, of course, the gunner gets me. That's the only problem, being able to hit you off-screen. So you kind of have to just know he's there and dodge it when you can. Oh yeah, it looks like it would be a good idea to kind of charge up to this enemy here with how he is. Oh 
Okay, yeah, I can't really do anything against him. So, he's just a casualty, I can't save. that seat hit me? Usually it's farther back, isn't it? Oh well, so... Yeah, it always takes a few tries to, you know, unless you're really practiced with the game, to kind of take him down. And as I said, I'm trying to stay healed here without... Oh well, I'll just take it for now. Sadly, this uh, enemy isn't as close by, and so you have to kind of go through a few things before you uh, get back to him. And of course I took a hit there. Okay, so I, it looks like the seeds don't always land in the exact spots I saw before, at least. I want to have as much life as possible just to give me a better chance, but it can be hard to dodge them all without more practice or a better weapon. It all depends. Because I'm not sure if this is the best weapon I could have at this point in the game or not. Try to avoid that a bit better. Ah, right, darn it. Okay, so to hurt him, you have to be close, but if you stay close for too long, he'll bite you back. So yeah, the fireball does at least help in doing a bit more damage uh, against enemies for the most part. So I guess it's not a bad idea to just keep charging when you can. So have a button configuration you're comfortable with and just keep on holding. Dodge that. And I took too much damage. And I keep not getting the positioning right and trying to do this. And there goes that bird again. I really need to just be able to avoid them for the most part. Like, as you saw, no invincibility frames, so... You know, you just keep taking hits, and then you go down. So yeah, you could always try going a different path if you want. Eh. I need to really find a decent way to try and go through all these enemies here. Because I'm trying to avoid the spikes, of course. And then, of course, trying to keep my health as high as possible here. So, there we go. Okay. Well, let's take him one more time. I thought he was going to spit the seeds out, but instead he goes to bite me. And then, you know, he then spits the seeds out and then I get too close and apparently hurt myself. Well, I guess I could just use my attack for that and that at least speeds things up a little bit here. Ah, 
I don't really like how... You know, because I thought I avoided the seed, but because of its arc, it seems to hit you, even though where it's placed in the, uh, in the area, kind of, you know, you wouldn't think it would hit you from that spot, but it does. So, it's better to probably just stay in close when you can, to avoid most of the, uh, his, his speed sitting there. And then let him spit out the bones here. Darn it. I was hoping to avoid all that, but... Ah, uh, yeah, so as you can see, it's taking me a few tries trying to get through this boss here. But I should be able to take him down uh, not too long here. This might be one of my longer videos I do, just trying, just because I'm kind of stuck on this boss here. Darn it. Thought I was in a better position there, but I guess for the most part it is better to kind of be close in that area to avoid the seeds. But, you know, with where I was, I was forced right on the seeds, so I just kind of got hit until I got killed there. But hopefully all my mistakes will make your playthroughs that much better. So he kind of goes that far, which is a bit difficult to deal with sometimes. I was hoping not to have this much trouble with this boss here. But not much you can do sometimes. You know, it just takes the perfect amount of circumstances and just a little bit of luck to sometimes get through. I remember having a lot of trouble with a boss with another boss in Dark Souls. But it helps to just take a moment to kind of go back and try and uh, to do it again later on. Ah, darn it. Like, I guess my mistake right now is actually jumping. Like, there's not, like, because I try to jump for hitting him. But, uh, in reality, I should probably just not jump unless I'm gonna until uh, after his attack or something. Darn it. Oh, come on. I should have... shouldn't have been hurt by that, but oh well. If that's what the game says, then I guess I have to believe it. And I still somehow got hit, but I guess that's from the skeleton there. And I still got hit even, you know, just a quick flash there. right and uh, I keep jumping too far into them there because I feel like my sword isn't long enough sometimes well so much for that one yeah sorry for kind of all these uh, deaths here I didn't think it would take me this long trying to get through this boss here but he's definitely proving troublesome for me and just in terms of spatial uh, awareness for whatever reason. But we probably all have bosses we're gonna be hung up on here and there. And I know this is probably not gonna be the last time I'll have trouble.
Okay, so it looks like I've actually found his weak spot here, is if I just keep using the fireballs instead of jumping up close to him like I have been, I can actually just take him out easy. So that was my problem. <laughs> Sheesh. Oh well, at least live and learn, right? And now we can move on to this cave here. The Cave of Serpents. Well, I guess we heard about this earlier, didn't we? Well, let's go ahead and try and make sure we, uh... And of course, they, uh... Don't take any damage from fireballs, either. But hopefully we can find a save point here before we, uh... Just so that we don't have to backtrack here. It looks like we'll have a bit more trouble, uh, moving around in water here. There we go. And save. Well, thanks for joining me, and, uh, hope you'll watch out for my next episode as we tackle the Cave of Serpents. Until next time, have fun gaming.